Hi, my name is Usik Lee and thanks for watching this video. This research is Intermittent GPS Aided VIO, Online Initialization and Calibration. In this research, we comprehensively study the problems to fuse GPS with VIO and provide solutions. The Visual Inertia Odometry VIO and Global Position System GPS has complementary characteristics. VIO can provide a high quality ego motion information indoor and outdoor with low cost system build cost. However, the estimation drifts over time because of accumulated relative pose errors. On the other hand, GPS provides absolute position measurement, measurement without drifting and also low cost, but its accuracy and availability highly depends on the environments. Because of these complementary characteristics, fusing GPS with VIO can allow us to achieve a low-cost, robust, drift-free, indoor and outdoor localization system. Assume we get a GPS measurement at time TK and we want to use this information to estimate the IMU pose of the VIO system. To do so, we need to find an equation that represents the measurement as a function of IMU pose. The function contains the three different types of parameters such as the reference frame transformation between the VIO frame and the ENU frame, which is the reference frame of the GPS measurement, the pose of the IMU in VIO frame, and the sensor extrinsics. However, knowing all of these parameters is challenging because of uh, many reasons. For the reference frame transformation, it is even very hard to have the initial guess of this transformation. This is because both the GPS and VIO can set up an arbitrary point as its, as its reference frames. So this requires an initialization procedure, which is of finding the values from no initial guesses. Also, the system may not have GPS measurements at the beginning, such as starting from indoors. In order to achieve a seamless localization, we want the system to run locally and perform global localization after GPS VIO is, in, is initialized. Lastly, since the GPS measurement can be very, very noisy, the robust method for the initialization is required. For the IMU poses, GPS measurements can be intermittent and asynchronous to the system that may not have exact IMU pose at the time we want. Finding a way to handle this is the key to fuse GPS with other sensors. Also, not only the spatial temp calibration, but also temporal calibration is important. Especially fast-moving vehicles can be very largely affected by the sensor time offset. Therefore, modeling this and performing temporal calibration is very critical. Before moving on, how we solve these challenge problems, we first had a question that does, does using GPS measurement make the variables we want to find fully observable? The answer is no. From our analysis, there are four observable directions which are corresponding to the rotation along the axis of gravity between the VIO and the ENU frame, and the translation between the VIO and ENU frame. And they are inherited from the, the VIO system. To solve this unobservability issue, we propose to transform the state and its covariance to the ENU frame and marginalize the, tra uh, marginalize the transform parameters from the state because they are no longer needed. In this way, uh, the transformed state, state subscript by E is now fully observable. We apply this transformation technique in the GPS VIO initialization step so that our system is fully observable. Now let's move on the initialization method. Our VIO is based on the multi-state constraint common filter and can independently run without GPS measurement. Its state is composed of IMU pose, velocity, and biases at the current time and the history of the IMU poses at the camera imaging times. While the VIO is running, it starts to collect GPS measurements and the sparse IMU keyframes that can bound GPS measurements. We keep the keyframes sparse because the computation cost increases as more keyframes we have in our state. Once we reach the threshold, we compute the four degree of freedom transformation between the VIO and ENU frame by following procedure. We first con con convert the IMU keyframes to the estimated GPS position in VIO frame by using extrinsics. Then we compute the reference frame transformation that aligns GPS position in the two different reference frames by solving the quadratic constraint least square problem. Once we get the initial guess from the transform parameters of the uh, transform parameters, we further correct them by performing delayed initialization. 
Then the marginal then we marginalize all the keyframes so that we only have clones in MSC window and perform state transformation so that the state is fully observable. When the GPS measurement has large noises, it might not be possible to find accurate reference frame transformation from short trajectory because it is buried by the noises. In our simulation, it is shown that the larger GPS noise magnitude, we have less accurate initialization results. On the other hand, for the same GPS noise magnitude, if we have a longer trajectory, uh, we can get a better initialization quality. Therefore, this concludes that we can achieve a robust initialization by having longer trajectory for the initialization procedure. Here's a video that summarizes our initialization method with real dataset. The green line shows the pure VIO estimation trajectory and the yellow line is the GPS measurement. When initialized, we use two stack trajectory to find the reference frame transformation as described in the previous slides. Now, let's talk about how to handle the asynchronicity and the intermittency of the GPS measurement. Since we have IMU poses in the state at the camera imaging time, generally we do not have the exact IMU poses at the time we get the GPS measurement. Also, the original measurement function does not model the, the time offset, which can be caused by the sensor delay or clock mismatch. We solve the problems by linear interpolation. We interpolate the two bounding IMU poses of the GPS measurement to get the IMU pose at the GPS measurement time. The ratio lambda is decided by the temporal difference between the measurement and two other IMU pose times. Here, we further model the time offset as a bias between the GPS and IMU sensors, so added, the, added to the measurement time. In this way, we can represent the GPS measurement as a function of IMU poses in our state, which are marked as blue, and spatial temporal parameters marked as magenta color. Now we can perform EKF update to have a better estimation on them. Here is the update and calibration results in the simulation. We intentionally turned on and off the GPS measurement and gave the huge initial calibration errors to test the robustness of the system. At the beginning, all the systems run as the pure VIO because they are not initialized. Even after the initialization, the GPS VIO with, with calibration performs the pure VIO and shows the increase of the errors as it is shown around 80, 800 seconds. However, soon the system gets the GPS measurements, the errors shrink down near zero and remains small. On the other hand, the GPS VIO without calibration shows very inconsistent performance, even sometimes worse than the pure VIO, proving the blind trust on er uh, erroneous calibration values actually can harm the system more. The calibration converges near zero even with large initial errors, such as 1.5 seconds of time offset and around 8 meters of position errors depends on different GPS noise levels. The right side of the figure shows the error of the uh, calibration parameters and its straight sigma bounds, showing the consistency of the proposed method. Finally, we evaluated the proposed system in the real-world data. In this experiment, we started from inside of the garage and moved out. You can see the circles of the green line moved into the building, which indicates a successful initialization. The yellow line GPS spikes due to the, uh, due to multipassing uh, being indoors or out uh, under the trees. The proposed GPS VR system can robustly handle this measurement and perform accurate localization. Finally, uh, as a conclusion, first we proved that the state contains VIO to ENU reference frame transformation has four observable directions by the observability analysis. Second, we propose the state transformation that removes the transformation parameters and become fully observable. Third, we propose the GPS VIO initialization procedure that is robust, observable, and also can handle intermittent GPS measurements. Lastly, we propose the asynchronous GPS measurement update method and spatial temporal calibration method. Thank you.